Now, it's been two weeks since kids between 12 and 15 became eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine. Our Matt Lagritz is at Harvey Hall and is talking with families about the experience. Hey there, Matt. Hey, Aaron. Well, in just two weeks' time, more than 10% of Texans between the ages of 12 and 15 now have at least one dose of the COVID vaccine. And when we look at everyone over the age of 12, it's now more than 50%. Now, I spent the afternoon here at Harvey Hall talking to different people, learning why they were coming to get the vaccine. There was one young lady in particular who took the time to speak with me who really shared why right now is the right time for her to get vaccinated. I mainly wanted to get it because so I could travel around in the summer because I plan to go to Florida later in different places and it's getting kind of tiring wearing masks. Mackenzie Black is a 16 year old sophomore at Grace Community School and after a week's long debate, she and her mom decided to get her vaccinated against COVID, but it wasn't an easy decision for her to make. So I was really debating considering that it was so fast to get a vaccine. It was her mother that finally gave her the courage to get the vaccine. Her mom had gotten the vaccine earlier this year, and that gave her faith. Even though she's a little bit older than me, still, I'm not the only one that's getting the vaccine, so that really kind of boosted my confidence. Getting kids to get the vaccine was always going to be a challenge, says NetHealth CEO George Roberts, because it's not just about getting the kids to come, but also the parents. Probably a lot of parents are thinking, maybe I can take care of this this summer. So, uh, But we sure want to encourage your parents, those parents, to the 12 to 15 year olds can start getting it. Roberts says the amount of 12 to 15 year olds they have gotten vaccinated so far has been less than they had hoped but they're trying to reach them by setting up clinics at schools and churches. We were doing anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 a day back in, in March and April. So it's gone, it's dropped. Now, Robert says they plan on being out here at Harvey Hall for a couple more weeks up until June 4th. Then on June 8th, they're actually gonna be heading back to, the, uh, to their office here in Tyler on North Broadway. And that's probably because they are having less people come to get vaccinated now. And also Harvey Hall is actually meant to be torn down this summer. Aaron? All right, thanks, Matt.